My first guest tonight is actually a Booker Prize winner. He's the author of uh, Schindler's uh, Ark. See, I'd... yes, <laughs> that was correct. I know people went, what? What's that one? Is that a sequel? No. <laughs> it's the original name of the book. Please put your hands together and welcome Thomas Keneally. <laughs> Come on up, come on up, take a, take a seat in the red chair. Are you all right? Ah, yes, I think I'll uh, live through the interview. <laughs> <laughs> well, how old are you? Well, they you... told me if I came on this show, I'd be considered a cool geriatric by my grandchildren, and that's uh, apart from your super eminent talent. That's what I'm doing here. <laughs> They think you're being sarcastic. <laughs> Listen, I've got to know, what is the difference between an author, a writer, and a novelist? Oh, gee, well, uh, an author can write history and biography as well as uh, uh, the novel. So author is a portmanteau term, as we'd like to say, and uh, novelist is, is part of being... Uh, an author. It, it, it is a particular genre. Okay, I'm glad you haven't cleared that up at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know. I think everybody... So I've got that thing where I want to write a book. Do you think everybody yeah. has that in them to write a book? I mean... Everyone's got a great, uh, great book. And yeah. uh, the two great books that are in everyone are Childhood and disappointed love. And uh, we'd all write about death, except that we lack the opportunity, of course. When you say children's, uh, you, you mean children's, you can write about your childhood. Yeah, or, childhood. Or, or write a children's novel, I because I could do that. I could easily do, write a children's novel. That's like, what, four pages, you know? The, yeah. The, the chicken laid an egg. <laughs> There's your book, you know? Yeah. You, you... <laughs> I mean, good kids' writing is... Um, harder than it looks. It looks deceptively simple. But, um, yeah, you, you do get it over quicker than writing War and Peace. Yeah. It's um, about uh, it take it, it take 700 what? and... Yeah. Uh, 997 pages shorter. Yeah, probably. And how long how, how long's uh, War and Peace? 900 War, and well, uh, that... 99 pages. Uh, 997 plus a children's book. Yeah, That's yeah. <laughs> But what's, uh, it, it, you know, um, well, my daughter, she's only four. She's right into the Alice in Wonderland now. Uh, that's, that's a freaky story, isn't it? Yes. Is, is it, uh, do you think there's a lot of drugs involved? Well, there's a lot of... Um, uh, Lewis Carroll was both a mathematician and there's all this um, uh, press, uh, I think you'd call it now, you cool young people, press about, <laughs> about uh, uh, his relationship to the little girl upon whom Alice is, uh, is based. Oh, yeah. And yet it's a very profound work. I mean, it's not the little engine that could. It's not no, straightforward. No. It's not, I know I can, I know I can. Oh, no, this and is, getting uh, to the top of the hill. This, this is, is dope-smoking caterpillars and... <laughs> yeah, Cheshire cats who smile. You can yeah, take, out of nowhere um, and mushrooms and... Yeah. The, the white rabbit. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, and the two... Uh, the two I shouldn't mention this given my shape, but the two fat guys. <laughs> Twiddledum and... Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Tweedle yeah, 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 yeah. We having a drinks break? <laughs> well, it's f we're bowl 15 overs, haven't we? You've yes. been very good from the Paddington end. <laughs> Is that a sexual reference? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm far beyond them, I tell yeah. you. And, but you, you've also written a lot about US presidents. What, what's made you... Uh, is it because our Prime Ministers aren't exciting? Well, it's partly that, but yeah. years ago... Um, <laughs> but you did Abe Lincoln year, too. Is years that the, the ago, I wrote year. a biography of Abe Lincoln. Yeah. I was attracted by the fact that he was so... Um, uh, all jokes aside, he, he had uh, the most profound depression... And his wife had uh, an acute personality disorder. And uh, 
he couldn't, with a record like that, he couldn't be elected president now. If you can uh, bomb a Middle Eastern city, that's good. But as long as you're strong on gay marriage, you know, it doesn't yeah. matter how many little tinted kids you kill. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I think we've turned into Q&A. Uh, <laughs> this is heavy, man. This would be the most, this would be the most tweets we'll get per episode. <laughs> Which is nice, so. Now, do, do you travel a lot to study up on these topics, or do you just get on the computer? No, uh, I've uh, I've been writing a series on Australian history. Uh, I think. What's that? A uh, children's book? It's seven pages, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I've got a novel coming out later this year uh, because I, I I couldn't survive unless I wrote. But it's about World War One. Uh, nurses, which isn't very... Uh, World War I is not very funny, I've got to say. Uh, You're the dark side, haven't you? Very... Um, <laughs> you know, you, yes. Did I, you think about writing comedies maybe one day? To uh, just... Inside <laughs> me is a tall, lean, sepulchral fellow who looks rather like an aged Tony Abbott. If you can imagine such a uh, what do we put in these drinks, figure. man? What do we? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's straight gin yeah. as normal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I wish. Hey, um, but okay. Well, Schindler's arc slash list. Um, now that was mentioned on Seinfeld. Yeah. Did you get did you get a cut from Seinfeld's uh, page? No, it's mentioned on that. No, but. Uh, because they were making Seinfeld out. Seinfeld was a good yeah. Jewish boy, and he was um, he was uh, embracing uh, his girlfriend. Yeah. And, yeah. In the movie while watching the the film. Yeah, uh, my my generation's nineteen fifties generation call it embracing. Embracing. Is I it? don't know what you place call it. Uh, <laughs> Anyhow. Uh, well, I've got a few uh, words for it. Do you use a typewriter, or are you on a laptop? Do no, a I I use a word processor and. Um, so it would have been hard uh, for people to write books on, you know, typewriters, it would take them forever. Yeah. I used to use uh, longhand in the old days before the uh, coming of the, the PC or the laptop top because uh, you couldn't cut and paste on a yeah. typewriter. Every time you wanted to change something, you had to go back to the start. Yeah. It was an impossible uh, world. I mean... You're dealing here with a person, my, so I, I started writing at school at the age of five, not novels, but my writing career, we began on a stone slate. So you're actually talking, you're talking to Stone Age what? man. With a chisel. No, no, we were beyond <laughs> We're on the. We well, right on chisel. cave walls we too. Right, a, right yeah, we did the finger stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, on those yeah. We whip across to France the school finger painting team. <laughs> Anyhow, the uh, so you're dealing with Stone Age man here, yeah. but the cut and paste facility on the uh, PC or the uh, laptop is makes writing so much easier. Listen, before you go, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, we've got a quick quiz for you. Okay, um, actually, do, do you um, what do you think of these people now reading books on those? Just the what do you well, call it? I'm, electronic I'm, books. I can't. I'm I can't read them. them. Do you like it? I still enjoy the feel of a book, and I notice that my um, grandson, who's twelve, uh, uses the iPad <clears throat> not for reading novels, but for uh, games and watching movies. Mm. When he reads a novel, he still reads the old-fashioned printed book. Now I don't know how long that's going to last, but the, the printed book for the moment is standing up quite well to the yeah. e-book. It's strange. Mm. I like it because I know how much I've got to go. You yeah, know, when you get to the end, you go, oh, I've only got five, but you can't, an electronic one, oh, look, I've only got hmm, the size of the book yes. thing, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Well, I've got a bit of a quiz for you because every book has got a, like, a lot of books have famous first lines. The first line of the book is the most thing that, that grabs you. Yeah? yeah. That's the thing yeah. that grabs you. So I'm going to see if you know some of these, these books. Oh, gee, here we go. 
nil out of five. Really? Yeah. It was a bright, cold day in April, and the clocks were striking 13. Oi. Uh, <laughs> is that 1984? Correct. Ladies, look at that. Correct. <laughs> eh? <laughs> OK. Um, happily families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Ah, uh, that's Tolstoy and it's War and Peace. No, it is War and Peace. <laughs> no, it may be Anna Karenina. Yes, it is, <laughs> Anna Karenina. Very good. <laughs> All right, Mr and Mrs Dursley of number four Privet Drive were proud to say that they were perfectly normal. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, is that J.K. Rowling? Yes, it is. <laughs> Ooh, see, you, you know your stuff. It was actually from Harry Potter, Harry and, the, Potter and the Sorcerer's yeah. Stone. But uh, for yeah. some reason, it says here that in, uh, in the US, they had to change it to the Philosopher's Stone because uh -huh. they wouldn't know what a sorcerer was. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, I never thought this would happen to me. I always thought the stories were made up. Boy, that's a hard one. I never thought I always thought the stories were made up. That was actually me in a letter I sent to Penthouse. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please thank Thomas Keneally for me. <laughs> we'll be back after the break with Alyssa Stringfellows. <laughs>